Amen. Welcome back to the Orange Blossom Opry. How's everybody doing now? What about you new folks? Where are you? You still here? They left. No, so they are? Where are they? Right here? Okay. Everything's still okay? Everything was good? Music's good? Right? The food is good? Bathrooms are clean? Right? All right. Hey, I need to uh, do something I forgot to do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is probably one of the... Uh, I've played in a lot of bands in my life, trust me. And uh, this band's probably one of the better bands I've played in. Maybe one of the best bands I've ever played with. I want you to say hello to the man, the myth, the legend. We call, we call him Cowboy, uh, but his real name is Peter George. Please say hello to Peter George. Absolutely amazing. And can you rope steers? You know how to rope steers? Oh, yeah. He's a roper. All right. Uh, yeah, from New York. Yeah, goat roper from New York. From, from Long Island. Yeah, I know how to ride horses. From Long Island. Yeah, you ride those horses. I, you know, I wanted to be a cowboy all my life as a kid. Uh -huh. You know, and then I got on a horse the first time, and it nearly threw me off. I said, I'm not doing that. Not being a cowboy. All right. Well, I have this a This is as cowboy as I get the hat. All right. Please say hello to Mr. Kevin Kingston. Here he is right here. Bass player, extraordinaire, background singer, all around nice guy. There he is right there. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the president and the CEO of the Pretty Boy Club. Please say hello to our pretty drummer, Mr. Todd Bowers, back there in the back. There he is in his glory. He's our band leader. He plays all these instruments. And one of them seems to have blown up. But, uh, yeah, I think he's blown up. Uh, he's our band leader. He plays all these instruments, and he plays a lot more. He's absolutely incredible. Please say hello to Mr. Doug Stock. My name is Bobby, and I think we'll move right along again. Uh, folks, I really want to tell you, please spread the word. We are working really hard to bring you some incredible shows. And some of these people you may not know, I got a buddy of mine from Nashville coming here on Saturday night. Fleetwood Mask is tomorrow night. I think they're almost sold out, which is the Fleetwood Mac uh, tribute band. But uh, I'm bringing some buddies in. We're trying to gather some folks in here to bring some really great music to you. So please spread the word and please come and see us. And thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. He's the boss. He's the man. If you're here and you're interested in getting uh, on the jam, this is the gentleman you need to talk to right here. He's the newest member. Check this out. Newest member of the South Dakota Country Music Hall of Fame. Here he is right now to sing for you. There he is, right on cue. Right on cue. Oh, there. <laughs> well, what are you up there? That don't look, look like that you. Picture, right? <laughs> That's uh, Neil Bogus. It's, uh, no, I've heard myself play. I'll be okay. Conductor Bogus. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing tonight? Are you ready for some more music and all that? And have you had a good time? Bobby is correct, I am uh, picking up the jammers, so if you do want to be a jammer up here, go get my card out there and give me a call on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, and we'll see if we can't work you in. Uh, is the suit too much tonight? Is this okay? Oh, that's good, man. Um, I really want, I grew up in the era where it was Webb Pierce and Ernie Ashworth, and they all wore the, you know, the turquoise and all that on there. And my wife won't let me put that on here. No so. sprinkles, no sparkles, huh? I, I need the sparkles. You need some sparkles, they, yeah, man. Exactly. It'd make it look a little better, too. I think it looks great. <laughs> I'm comfortable in it, so that's the way I grew up this way, and that's the way I got to play. Um, my first song is an awesome song. When I was a kid out in South Dakota, the Beatles came on, and somewhere stuck between Hank Williams and Webb Pierce was me trying to figure out what kind of song I could do that everybody would like when I was 14 years old. Well, we found one by a gentleman by the name of Buck Owens. I'm gonna send this out to the three gals who I've been working the popcorn stand with out there. So this goes out to Ginger, <laughs> to Faith, and to Savannah. And uh, I'm way too old for them, but I remember something like this because Buck Owens wrote this, Don Rich did the harmonies on it, and it was the number one song. I've got a tiger by the tail that's plain to see. Won't be much when you get through me. I'm working on a fighting mighty pair. I wish that I had a tiger by the day. Well, first day I met you, I was meek as a lamb. Just time to fill my dreams and plans. But now the pace we're living takes the wind from my sail. And it looks like I got a tiger by the tail. I've got a tiger by the tail, it's plain to see. I won't be much when you get through with me. I'm losing a and a tiger by the tail. Yeah, it looks like I got a tiger by the tail. Bobby Randall on the guitar. 
night you drag me where the bright lights are found. There ain't no way to slow you down. And I'm just as about it as a leaf in a gale. Yeah, it looks like I got a tiger by the tail. See Buck Owens in concert? Man, it was a wonderful, wonderful show. Well, we're gonna go up and do a song. I think I got this in the G here, guys. Um, everybody knows who the king of rock and roll is, right? But do you know who the king of rockabilly is? Do you know what rockabilly is? Well, rockabilly came out of Memphis on some sessions. It's a mixture of rhythm and blues and country and gospel and all that. And a gentleman down there wrote this song, and once I sing it, I, well, <laughs> uh, Doug asked me, what version are you going to do? And I said, well, I started out in one and I end up in the other. So we'll just let her go and see if you can think it. The king of rockabilly was Mr. Little Jimmy Dickens. Carl Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's close. <laughs> well, it's one for the money, for the show, to get ready and out go and go. But don't you step on my blue sweat shoe. You can do anything but lay off of the blue sweat shoe. You can knock me down, stand in my face, slam my name all over the place. Whatever you do, honey, leave it to you. But lay off, baby, off, off of them shoes. Well, don't you. Step on my blue sweat shoe. You can do anything, but lay off on a blue sweat shoe. Mr. Peter George, give us a little rock belly. You can knock me down, feel my face, slam my name all over. because we really have no idea what this guy's going to do. We never and then, do. <laughs> and then after uh, we got to know him a little bit, we realized that he doesn't either. So, but uh, he's a very funny man and a great guy. Please give your uh, big round of applause to Mr. Phil Julian. Welcome to comedy folk. Well, 
I'm going to start out with something serious. <coughs> Halloween is coming. And uh, do you, you remember um, Jiminy Cricket singing, Always let your conscience be your guide, right? This, this is kind of the same idea, but it's a little more sinister. <laughs> Sounds too good to be true, or you're tempted to do something that you know you shouldn't do. There's something there not saying, and you'd better do some praying. It's taboo. You know the consequences, and you just no longer care when the peer pressure is rising, saying, Do it on a dare. If it's got that dirty feel, and you're not sure if it's legal, it's taboo. It's taboo, it's taboo. Something you don't do. You don't want bad karma coming down on you. If you wouldn't want to manage it, then you better pay attention. It's taboo. Now, when you feel those bad vibes talking to your senses, you know that you're trespassing, climbing the wrong fences. You find you're in a quadrant because you cross some sort of boundary. It's taboo. You feel that hesitation buzzing in your mind, that little whisper telling you you're about to cross the line. It's a sixth sense intervention, and you better pay attention. It's taboo. It's taboo, it's taboo, something you don't do. You don't want bad karma coming down on you. If you wouldn't want to mention, then you better pay attention. say, I know what I'm doing, then your back is to the wall. When you decline the counsel of a friend, you're heading for a fall. The outcome is predicted, and the wounds are self-inflicted. It's taboo. Keep your inhibitions sober. Keep your protocols in place. Be aware of consequences and the shame that you will face. Avoid the guilt and sorrow when you're waking up tomorrow. It's taboo. It's taboo. It's taboo. Something you don't do. You don't want bad karma coming down on you. If you would want to mention, then you better pay attention. It's taboo. If the thing you want to do will be a day you'll always rue. the whole story about the, the gun and the buzzer. You know, the truth is he only clipped it and the feathers always got to show for it. Really. Easy now. Otherwise you'd have two, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, is it true that this next song is gross? Oh yes, it's gross, yes. <laughs> oh now, a, a guy walks into a bar. The reason he walks into the bar is because he's only four foot tall and he's very nearsighted. <laughs> now you know the rest of the story. Okay. I get in trouble for telling jokes. All right, this is called uh, gross negligence um, for a reason. It's, it has to do with people that put things off far beyond their expiration date. That sounds like my way. How do you know when buttermilk goes bad? Well, it used to be fresh milk when you started, you know, that kind of thing. So. <coughs> It's time to change the sheets, they're getting crusty. And the bed bug shells are piling up in heaps. Now I guess we need to wander down to Walmart. You can get those Chinese linen so darn cheap. Seems I never get around to doing what's needed. The list goes on and on, it's such a pain. I should quit procrastinating, but I think I'll need to wait. Cause the weather man, he says it's gonna rain. On the couch, a spring has sprung, and it's amazing. 
been in jail again? <laughs> again? Here's a funny thing, honey. I can't hear, so you got to come up here just a little bit. I think you don't recognize me because I got more beautiful. <laughs> yep, well, you are absolutely beautiful. All right. All right, what are you going to uh, what are you going to say? Borrow here? that hair? Actually, that good under the hat. Um, actually, um, I have four others just like it. I always tell people I'll let you wear it sometime. That's not a problem. Do I think that'd be a problem to see them all out here in the one this week? And you, my darling, last time I saw you, I made you an offer, and you never came around. So <laughs> I told him. I well, told him that one more time before I die, I wanted to be a cougar. <laughs> Y'all know what that is, right? Well, I got news for you, sugar. You snooze too long, and I got one younger than you. <laughs> well, good for you. Day. I 
challenge everybody please do that tell everybody tell everybody how great this is this place does not change but it live on does Facebook change. right now it's awesome it's awesome we're running live on Facebook right now so are go, we oh okay I forgot to say that yep There's we are so live on Facebook you go to Orange Blossom Opry's Facebook page so sir if that's not your wife you might want to yeah yeah just saying giving you the old heads up wait wait that's my wife <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been singing uh, with a country band in Orlando and with two blues bands, and I'm also doing an awful lot of studio work, doing demos in Orlando. So I've been real busy, real busy. But this is, was my most popular song in Vegas when I was singing. <laughs> Hope I remember it. It's been three years. Oh, Mr. Peter.
Thanks for everybody giving up for a week. Thank, Thank you. Good job. Thank you very much. And Thank for everybody that asked for Pink Cadillac, the next time I sing out here, I promise you I'll do it then. Right. And that's what I was playing during that song. Just That's kidding. the pink freeway. The pink freeway. Hey, Bill, where are you? Bill's out there somewhere. Bill Van Ripper is out there. Riper it is, not Ripper. I'm sorry, I know it. Hey, let me tell you a story about Bill. If you look right here on my music stand, every night I look at Bill. There he is right there. See, that's the truth. Come on, son. Come on. Are we uh, waiting for a, a what? Oh, okay. Oh, don't start that well, stuff. You guys can be two ships passing in the night. Yeah. Watch out. So it's not? It's well, while not. we're talking about that, I got a question for you all. This is my first time with the love bug season. First of all, what's with those things? They're connected at the, at the booty. And, and I don't know uh, who's in charge. Here's what, I, I've been married a couple times, so I know the woman's in charge. But I don't know which one she is, the little one or the big one. But they are aggravating as all get out. Hi, Bill, good to see you, sir. Yeah, don't ask me. Please. About the love bugs? Love bugs. Yeah, well, okay. Here we go, we need to play music anyway. Okay, yes, sir. We're, Elvis is in the house, but I mean, not really. We're just gonna do a couple of Elvis no. songs. Speaking okay. of love bugs. <laughs> well, Elvis died 42 years ago, and he was 42 years old, and I, at the time, was 48. So there, you can do the math. Let's see. How old is he? How old? Yeah. Makes you about uh, okay. uh, 53. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're going to do Love Me Tender. Maybe not.
building. <laughs> no bill's still here. It's, uh, I can't help I fall can't. on your lip. It's all about right there, folks. I'm jam that right there. I'm telling you, it's a, it's my favorite night here. So, uh, all right, man, good job. We're moving along now. Stacy Boyd is over there. Here she comes, and uh, Dave Moore, you're on deck. And uh, hi, how are you? Good. Long time no see. You remember uh, borrowing twenty bucks from me last time you were here? You know, you're never gonna be broke. Never.
everybody tonight's been great, haven't they, folks? Even the band, right? Even, even the band. Especially, especially oh. the band. Let me tell you something, folks. This is the best band that you'll ever see for these prices. <laughs> now think about that one for a minute. Especially because we're playing all these songs without rehearsing. Now, you got to look over his way because Peter starts this one. Peter starts this one. He do. He do. But Todd counts it all. A, C, whatever. <laughs> 220, 221. AC, whatever. DC. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> sing his song. Hey, man. Good job, Stacy. Thank you, hon. Yep. Very good. Very good. Uh, Dave? Hey, what? Dave's not here. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Hey, um, no, no. Uh, usually, fellas in the band, uh, usually this is going to be the end, but uh, after already gone, uh, we have a, a very special guest that showed up tonight, and uh, we're going to ask her, while we're doing these two songs, to be uh, preparing because we're going to bring her up and have her sing something. We have no idea what it'll be, but it's going to be a real treat uh, for y'all. So, so uh, stick around. Yeah, so stick around, dude. Yeah. I'll well, stick around. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, she'll figure it out. I'm sorry, what do you think? Yes. Oh, you want some more? It, it goes to 11. <laughs> it goes to 11. A lot of the ones that go to 11, they get really, really loud. Yeah, All right. Sir Pete is going to start the song. This is an Eagle song. This is the one that uh, Glenn Fry said, or Don Henley said, started off for them. I really hope you enjoy this one. Z. 
desperado Why don't you come to your senses And I brighten fences for so long now Oh, you're a hard one And I know that you got your reasons But these things that are pleasing you Can hurt you somehow you could have gone to for entertainment tonight. I'm so glad you all decided to come here. Thank you so much for coming out. Give yourselves a big hand. Y'all are doing great. And you know, we thank the band. We don't want to leave out our sound, lighting, and video technicians back there. Come on, they're making it sound really great out there for you. Oh, there's one thing. All right. And Bobby promises a squirrel for everybody who sticks around. Tell me. 
Everyone, please check me out at seeingdave.com. Good sir. job, man. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Randy, will you uh, will you come up and, and sing us a song? We have a uh, a very special guest in the uh, audience with us tonight, and uh, she and I have been friends for um, five minutes. I love her too. I met her backstage. I said, what are you doing back here? And she said, what are you doing back here? She said, I'm a singer. And I said, well, I'll be dog. How about the uh, jam though, folks? How about a round of applause for all of our jammers over there who came out tonight and did an incredible job. All right, we'll bring her uh, to the front of the stage there. Yep. There you go. We have no idea because this is all unrehearsed, so hopefully this will be easy. What are we doing? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. No, hey, A flat. Not. I didn't even know I was going to get to do this. How fun is this? Uh, so I'm going to bring you one of my very, very, okay. very favorite country songs, but it's really sad. Everybody go, aww. aww. That was good. I felt the love there. It was good. And uh, But it's just, it's so beautiful. I just love it. So thanks for looking. Take the ribbon from my hair Shake it loose and let it fall soft against your skin like the shadows on the wall come and lay down by my side till the early morning Yeah, Randy's going to be coming here on uh, the 8th of what, November? Yep, 
Yep, to do a, a George and Tammy show. Yes, and I'm of course going to do the George Jones part. And, no, just kidding. just kidding. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give you one of my favorite Tammy Wynette songs, and you can sing along with me tonight. And thanks again.
Good night, everybody. Bobby.